What is version control? Version control, as the name suggests, is a means to manage different versions of your source code and is also commonly referred to as source control. These code versions might be explicit versions of the application like 1.9 and 2.0 or might be work in progress versions or customized versions for different customers. Managing multiple developers is another key component of version control, especially as software teams get bigger, become more numerous as applications become more complex and those teams are geographically distributed. Implicit in version control is maintaining a record of changes to the source code, who made the change, when they made it, and a summary of what the change was. While not an explicit element of version control, online code repositories have become synonymous with it and serve as a backup vehicle for source code. As will become apparent, the tree analogy is often used when talking about version control. The main thread of the code development is called the trunk, often referred to as the master trunk, while deviations or splits from that are called branches. Because developers aren't arborists, the master trunk is often called the main branch. This technology isn't new and falls into two main types, centralized and distributed. Centralized version control systems are modeled on client-server architecture, where developers check out files to work on, much like taking a book out from the library. While the file is checked out, it is locked within the version control system, preventing anyone else from making changes to it. This type of version control was very much in vogue at the beginning of the century and is represented by well-known, if you are of a certain age, products like CVS, Concurrent Version Systems, Subversion, and Team Foundation Server, which morphed into Team Foundation Version Control, abbreviated to TFVC. One side effect of the checkout check-in model is behavioral. Developers tend to put off checking in until their body of work is totally complete as they don't want to break the build. This leads to large check-ins with associated conflict issues and makes reverting or unwinding changes more difficult. Moving forward, distributed systems are very much the flavor of the month now. And if we were to be completely honest when we talk about distributed systems, we are invariably talking about Git. Instead of checking out and locking files from the master trunk, a developer takes a copy, called a clone, typically of the whole code base, and has it locally where they can work on any part of it. Obviously, this is a significant advantage over the checkout check-in model when it comes to having multiple developers working on the same code base, especially with remote workers who don't have to be connected all the time. Changes in the form of branches are typically merged back to the master trunk with what's called pull request, which I'll get into later.